good afternoon so that's great and as you can see the name of the topic itself says that data migration from traditional to new age by the way hi i am ketan and i have lakshman with me hello and uh, let me give you some brief about you know how this uh, tool came into the existence so i used to work with tally and i used to work with frappe also and then when i started my own business at that time i thought we really don't need a tool because uh, you know the, when 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 we pitch erp to any customer and we say them you know we need to do the data migration we tell them anything garbage goes in garbage comes out so if you are really want to shift your accounting and inventory system let us take data from tally in excel let us sanitize it and then upload it it's an easy process right but when i started this process with few of our initial customer there was lots of resistance because uh, you know to work on excel specifically when we you know take data from tally and we want to sanitize it because tally data master will have you know 10 or 12 fields but when you want to implement uh, erp you need to give lots of information in the you know masters so it becomes very tedious job so then for one of our biggest customer we have to build this tool and at that time the idea was to only build a, a tool that can migrate the masters so we done that then since that customer was in an industry he wanted legacy data so we built a, a transaction also and that's how this tool came into the uh, you know existence so basically how this tool is going to help you is that you know seamless transaction from tradition to new accuracy of data because whatever data is there if it's sanitized you will get that data accurately in erp next and it really minimize lots of time of the partner who is doing the implementation and the customer you know whose team has to work on the data uh so maybe uh, how this uh, what are the components that's little bit technical and i would ask lakshman to present that uh yeah so uh, the uh, we uh, the this uh, data migration tool components that involves uh, basically three uh, uh, three kinds of activities like uh, mapping of data and uh, then validations and uh, then few apis and uh, server scripts so uh, uh, basically when uh, we plan to uh, integrate two application we want uh, to talk uh, with the two applications so uh, the data mapping uh, plays a crucial roles uh, because the design of the data in the uh, uh, secondary application and uh, the destination destination application or primary application where we want to uh, uh, migrate the data both the design is different so in tally uh, there is a different structure and in erp next it's a different structure so what we did is we uh, we tried to uh, profile all the structures and uh, tried to map the data uh, and the relationships between the uh, tally objects and uh, the uh, the erp next objects uh, take an example um, uh, in tally everything is ledger everything is ledger Uh, but in erp next we have different components like uh, customer separate customer master separate supplier masters and uh, separate address components separate uh, address doc types and separate contact doc types so we need to um, uh, map all those and um, uh, also uh, uh, the data vali validation is also plays an important uh, role when uh, we talk to when we um uh, do data migration process and we build some application to migrate data from um, uh, some application to another application so the data validation uh, also plays an important role to um, uh, to get the accurate uh, to to get the uh, seamless transition from old system to a new erp system and uh, uh, with with the accuracy of the data also yeah so um for uh, uh, there are two types of uh, basically masters uh, two types of components like uh, uh, masters then transactions and uh, then reports so so uh, what we did is we uh, we uh, we mapped uh, the ledger account of uh, uh, tally to customer suppliers and uh, contact and address uh, then we have stock item and other components 
Um, similarly, we map uh, for the transactions also. For, for example, in uh, ERP Next, we have only payment entry, but uh, in uh, Tally, we have separate entry for payment and separate entry for receipt. So we try to ma map uh, all those uh, kind of uh, transactions. Um, so Ketan, I would maybe I'm the best who can give you customer scenarios. So this like uh, one of our flagship customer for whom essentially we fold, first built the only master migration and the transaction migration. So they were in a complex business scenario where outstanding run for one and a half year and things like that. So when we said that uh, let us do the data migration uh, just for this financial year, they said that no, what will happen to our, uh, you know, uh, people who need to pay us from last year. So that's how, you know, uh, this company got benefited. They have 20 branch and one important thing was that all this 20 branch data was in 20 different tally. So they were using 20 different tally, the data was syncing. And uh, so what we did is that the 20 different tally data we merged into one and uh, it's pretty live and they are very happy with it. Uh, the next case study is also very unique because any given point of time they will have 60 to 80 people who are doing billing. They are very large distributor of uh, white good components. So just imagine any day your 60 to 80 people are doing billing and they have multiple locations. So to go live on one day is very difficult because majority of their offices are in C class or D class town. So we have to build a two way uh, data integration tool that can give them a face wise go live. So that's how you know this customer got benefited. So it took around three months where simultaneous entries were happening in ERP next. Few people were doing entries in ERP next. Few people were doing entries in tally. At the day end, it got uh, you know both synced, merged, and then it it took around three three and a half months for entire organization to train to you know help them at uh, uh, various level and now they are live so so that's how uh, the, you know some of our customer got benefited uh, out of this tool and now it's time for magic uh, so uh, let us uh, see in action so we'll quickly migrate uh, small data that uh, we have with us um, so uh, 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 basically, we have to create a user first for uh, authentication purpose and uh, security. So uh, I remember yesterday, uh, Deepesh was saying that there are two type of customer, that one who are using ERP Next and one who are going to use uh, ERP Next. So this statement, uh, I heard this from uh, late Sri uh, Shamsundar Goenkaji, who is the founder of Tally. And at that time, he used to tell that there are two types of customer in India, one who are using Tally and one who will be using, uh, uh, you know, Tally. And uh, yesterday, DPS used it. And maybe I can use it in a different uh, type that there are two types of customer, one who are using Tally and, you know, one who are going to be using ERP next. <laughs> so, thank you. Uh, sorry, it, uh, the development server went idle. <laughs> Um, so, uh, start with the creating uh, user. So, I have created one user in the ERP system and uh, generated an API key and uh, the API secret. And this API key and uh, API secret we need to specify in the company uh, which you want to migrate from uh, Tally to ERP Next. So, there are steps to configure where your ERP Next instance is running and uh, the API key and API secret which are generated from the user. So this is the configuration for uh, connecting uh, ERP instance to the tally. And uh, uh, after this, um, we have to do some configuration in um, uh, tally that I am sp skipping right now. So I will quickly show you the menus. Uh, uh, as you can see that uh, there is one menu enabled in the, uh, in the tally system to migrate uh, data from the uh, from tally to ERP next. So uh, we have mapped this much components like uh, you can uh, synchronize customer groups. Uh, so, so for the sake of the uh, demo, um, uh, I'm, 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 I will uh, do one, one by one. And uh, if you want, uh, you have some options to synchronize all the components at uh, once in a single button. So uh, I will sync uh, the customer group. And uh, first of all, I will uh, show you the customer list in, uh, um, in ERP Next. 
So as, as you can see, there is no customer. And uh, from here, I will just say that uh, migrate my customers to um, uh, ERP Next, and it is uh, started migrating. And uh, I will come back to ERP Next and uh, uh, see. As, uh, as you can see that uh, it has started migrating, so maybe it's in development mode, so that is why it is uh, behaving uh, a bit slow. Uh, but while in production, uh, it may, may work, uh, uh, the performance may improve. So as you can see that uh, all the masters are uh, automatically getting uh, migrated to um, ERP next. And not only the, uh, the customer masters, uh, if I will open any customer and I will see uh, all the fields that uh, related to contact and addresses, you can see that one contact is also created. And uh, one address, address uh, doc type is created and linked with the particular customer. Uh, but in Tally, if you will see, all this information uh, uh, stores in only one single component. So this is uh, we have. Uh, uh, this is we did uh, with the customer master and uh, for every master. So it's still syncing. So till now we have uh, migrated 30 masters. For, for transactions, it is uh, masters are ma mandatory. So I, ultimately, I will have to sync uh, the customers also. Ah, uh, thank God, it's uh, behaving slow, but it's completed. Uh, <laughs> So this is how we migrated the customers. And uh, similarly, uh, we can do the supplier groups and the suppliers and the units, item group, and uh, items and warehouse. And uh, similarly, we can um, um, uh, integrate the customer uh, customers' opening balances and um, uh, suppliers' opening balances. So it will create, a in, create a, a, an opening invoice in uh, ERP, ERP system. And uh, then we have, uh, we can also migrate the sales invoices, credit notes, debit notes, and uh, uh, purchases, and um, uh, payments, and contra. So all these uh, are mapped, and... Uh, can we show sales invoice or something like that? Yes. So we'll quick, I, I will quickly sync it. So for the item group, we, we don't have any much number of items, so maybe yes, so as you can see that in tally we have uh, these uh, 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 item groups, it is synced, and now we will uh, try to sync the try to migrate the items which I have available in tally. Oh, so the item masters are also uh, migrated. So uh, we are also handling the GST settings like HSN code and uh, all, all those parameters which are required for GST billings. Similarly, if we have uh, uh, go downs, we call it go down in tally and uh, warehouse in uh, ERP next, so we can sync all those masters also. And uh, I will uh, now, uh, to, to, synchronize, to migrate the sales transaction, we need the customer and we need the products, uh, items to be uh, available in um, ERP. So we have already synced that. So I will uh, quickly uh, uh, show you how we have done it with the transaction. So I will uh, open the sales invoice list. And uh, so uh, as you can see, there are uh, no sales invoices as of now. So I will try to sync the sales invoices. And this is, this is also the classic problem. You know why? You know, people love tally because, you know, it gives the simplicity uh, really. But when your organization grow, when you have more number of user, when you have more number of transaction, uh, you know, this is the problem like what we are facing here. You know, it keeps on 
going and going and that's why you know it, sí, it's yeah. a good software uh, you know so, something like ERP next uh, so as you can see that uh, the sales invoices have been uh, started uh, uh, migrating to ERP next and i will just open any any invoice and uh, uh, want you to have a look that what all informations and accounting uh, uh, entries uh, are posted so these entries are uh, submitted and uh, you can see that uh, these items and the quantity and the prices, everything uh, is mapped and uh, validated. So also the, uh, the, the GST part also. So uh, one more thing I want to show you the exceptions. So sometimes it happens like um, uh, when we try to migrate data from one system to another system. So uh, there may uh, some issues may happen. So we we have uh, created one exception report to see what uh, to see what the issue is and uh, uh, take the corrective measures and uh, re-migrate the data. So maybe I can open other window of tally and I will show you. Uh, meanwhile, uh, the, uh, the transactions are uh, getting uh, migrated into ERP. So here in Tally we have uh, uh, exception uh, reports. So for example, uh, I will go to sales and uh, sales invoice. Uh, you can see that uh, this record shows that uh, uh, whatever error uh, we have received from the ERP site will be recorded here against that transaction. And you can observe the error and uh, make the corrective, uh, uh, make the corrections uh, in, the, uh, in the ERP system. And uh, you can just reset it from here to uh, make this transaction available uh, for migration. So you can just re uh, reset the status from here that it is uh, corrected and it is reset. So now this transaction is available uh, again for the migration. Awesome. So that's it. And yes, this is open source. And as always, open source is awesome. So thank you guys, thank you. Have a great evening.